Today's read aloud is titled Insect Bodies. This is an informational book or nonfiction. That means it's going to give us facts, information, and teach us all about insect bodies. The author, the person who wrote the words to this story, is her name is Mary Atkinson. And as you can see from this picture, this is a real photograph or photo or picture. It's not an illustration or a drawing. So that's another way that we can tell a story or a book is informational. Not always, but that's sometimes it happens. Another interesting fact about nonfiction books or informational texts, they have what's called a contents page or a table of contents. This one is titled Insect Bodies, just like the title of the book. And then we can see on page two, it'll be insects. And then it goes through and shows us what information we're going to get on each page. We're going to learn about insects, their eyes, their mouth parts, their feelers, their wings, their legs, and their abdomens. Let's learn all about insects. Insects. There are about one million kinds of insects. They all have some things in common. Every insect has six legs. It has three body parts. It has a hard outer body. It does not have bones. The bee is an insect. The beetle is an insect. It has one, two, three body parts and a hard outer body. So as you can see, informational books also sometimes have labels to give us more information or to teach us more things. And the legs, remember they have six. Eyes, the eyes of an insect are on the first body part called the head. Every insect has two big eyes that are made up of many tiny eyes on its head. These big eyes are called compound eyes. Some insects have other eyes on their heads as well. Bees and wasps each have five eyes. This wasp has five eyes, two compound eyes, and three tiny eyes. One, two, three. This fly has two compound eyes. Mouth parts. All kinds of insects have mouth parts they use to eat. Some kinds eat plants and some kinds eat meat. Many insects have jaws called manubles. On the outside of their heads, a beetle has jaws for chewing. A butterfly has a tube on its head for sucking. If we look up close, this beetle has big jaws on its head. This butterfly sucks nectar with its tube. Feelers. Insects have feelers called antennae on their heads. They do not just feel with their feelers, they smell food with them too. Feelers also help some moths fly. The feelers on this beetle look hairy. Hard to see from the picture. The feelers on this moth look like feathers. Wings. Most adult insects have wings. The wings are joined to the middle part of the insect called the thorax. Most insects, such as ladybugs and butterflies, have two sets of wings. They are called forewings and hindwings. This butterfly has two sets of wings, forewings and high wings. hind wings. A ladybug has hard forewings. That's what we kind of look like her shell or his shell. And thin hind wings for flying. So it opens up 
its shell or its wings and brings out more wings to fly. Legs. Every insect has six legs. The legs often have about five parts that move. The legs are for walking and jumping. Ants can carry heavy things as they walk. Grasshoppers have strong back legs for jumping. This ant can walk upside down. The back legs of this grasshopper are strong. Hmm, I wonder why that is. Why do you think grasshoppers have strong legs? Has anyone ever seen a grasshopper? Hmm, maybe next time you're out, you can look for more and see why their legs, their hind legs are so strong. Abdomens. The final part of the body is called an abdomen. Insects do not have the same kind of ad all insects do not have the same kind of abdomen. Dragonflies and stick insects have thin abdomens. The abdomens of a leaf insect are shaped like leaves. There are many kinds of insects in the world. Which kind of insects can you find? Now look it up close. See, this is a dragonfly. This dragonfly has a thin abdomen. That's its whole abdomen. This leaf insect looks like that, a leaf. You see, its abdomen looks like a leaf. And that is the end. So next time you're out, I want you to take a look at any of the little creepy crawly insects, bugs, spiders, arachnids, all of those things that you see outside. And think, is this an insect? Does it have eyes? Does it have six legs? Does it have three body parts? Does it maybe have wings? Next time you're out, you can check it out and see if you can find an insect because you learned about insect bodies.